today. Not today or tomorrow. No, did you like the actual Boxing Day? Like day? Was that? Was that? Amazing. <laughs> it was. Was it? Yeah. Crazy. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's 2016. It's a brand new year, brand new continuation of the series. Sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? I'm sitting out in my backyard at the moment so you can hear all the wonderful sounds of nature going. It's sort of early in the morning. It's summer, it's beautiful, the skies are clear, the breeze has finally dropped so you can probably hear me. There's a clothes dryer going in the background, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but um, hopefully we can clean that out. 2016, <coughs> how's everyone going? I all hope you had a great break over Christmas. For those of you who didn't celebrate Christmas, you had a great holiday, I guess. And you all came through it pretty strong, didn't gain too much weight I hope. This is the, probably the first year that I didn't put pretty well anything on. My, I managed to keep my body weight constant. That has to be like a record for me. What we did is um, basically Christmas day, I stuck with my meal plan, I had my normal breakfast. Lunch was fairly, it was a fairly light lunch. We, we had a Christmas dinner and when we had the dinner we didn't really have a lot of carbs. So we didn't have the pasta, we didn't have the rice, so and just a lot of meats. We just had some vegetables, we had some sweet potato and just sort of roast potato. And that was about it. We very little bread, uh, not very many snacks, and got through. So as to be expected, didn't you know, didn't stick 100 percent to the meal plan through the whole holidays. Tried to keep as close to it as I could. Had a lot of work. I worked because I work in a supermarket and being Christmas, it's like the busiest time of the year. So I didn't get to train a lot, worked a lot. So the diet got thrown out a little bit and that was reflected in my bioprint results. Before I get to the results though, like I said, my body weight was constant over, pretty constant over Christmas. Then since Christmas, I actually managed to lose a little bit. So my body weight is 133.8, which is awesome. I'm really, really happy with that. So, had the bioprint done. So let, let's let's roll the footage and actually see what happens with the bioprint. What uh, what what yeah what goes on? Uh, standing for the first one. Seated for the Okay, so with the results from the bioprint, lost some weight, but I also lost a little bit of muscle and gained just a little, you know, 0.2% of uh, body fat. So that was re reflected in, like I said, my lack of training and just working, not being 100% with the meal plan. But like I said, I'm back onto it now and back into training with a vengeance, really hitting it hard. We've got a new master's training program and a new masters only class so i'm really looking forward to it some big competitions this year it's going to be fantastic overall like in in the over the years generally i, I put on weight over christmas it's like a really really bad time for me and that's when i indulge too much in food so i am super happy with our results i hope you guys had some similar results if not don't worry about it just get back into it get back onto the meal plan whatever you're doing just exercise don't stress out too much, okay? It's it's not worth the stress, that can make it worse. So get back in, join us on this journey again. And yeah, let's do this. First tip of the week for 2016 in this brand new part two series of Project Lean Lifter, I guess you could say. Okay, 
for those people who like to track their macros, track what they're having, especially their fats, anything actually. This apply. This is a useful trick for doing measurements. So for example, you're cooking up and you wanna know how much, say oil or even sauce, but we'll use oil in this example, you've used and you can put into say My Fitness Power. So what you would do is go boom, switch it on, and you'll notice it says zero. So what I do is then I grab my oil, I would then take it, you can't see, it's happening behind, pour it in, oops, put the lid back on, sit it down, bang, minus five, minus seven, sorry. So I use seven grams of oil. This is a handy thing, so if you're using condiments, if you're using, say, you've got a tub of cottage cheese, and you're not sure how much you're using, so set it down, switch your scales on, it'll be zeroed out, scoop out what you use, want to, want to use, you'll have a negative number, and say if it says example minus 20, that means you used 20 grams, okay? And the other way you can do it is if your scales are already switched on, hit the tear button, T-A-R-E, oops, put this guy on first, do that again, tear button, it'll zero out, do exactly the same thing. Pour out what you want to use, sit it back on the scales. That negative number is how much you've used. So that's my tip of the week for using a digital scales. Welcome back again, like I said. Thank you for all your support. It's just been, that's uh, uh, mind blowing. I'm, I'm lost for words. Totally mind blowing the support I've had um, with the channel, with Facebook, everything like that. Some big announcements coming up, but that's a separate sort of, that's a separate thing to what we're talking about here. This is the weight loss journey, becoming a leaner, for those of you who haven't seen it before, becoming a leaner, faster, stronger weightlifter. So losing body weight, but getting stronger and faster and getting better. And I'm already starting to see those results. So if you haven't already, just go back and have a look through the series. Um, like I said, I really enjoy putting this together for you. This helps to keep me honest and I'm really loving it. So. Welcome back to 2016, let's get into it. So once again, thank you for watching and I will catch you in a week's time. Love is all, this is Big M saying, never too old, never too young to lift and it's never too late to get healthy. And I will catch you in the next episode, people.